The Princess and the Wolf Princess Branca was very kind and beautiful. Her only flaw was that she was a bit conceited. My daughter, that emerald necklace is very precious to wear when you go for a walk in the forest. Princess Branca didn't heed her mother's advice and went for a walk wearing her beautiful emerald necklace around her neck. Hello princess, do you allow me to give you this bouquet of flowers? And so, while walking, the princess met Jovan, a young shepherd who was playing the flute. Jovan, you play beautifully. No wonder your sheep are so content. When she grew tired of walking in the forest, the princess returned to her castle, but suddenly she touched her neck with her hand and exclaimed, My necklace. Someone has stolen my emerald necklace? Perhaps an animal from the forest or the young shepherdy. Branka, very frightened, had to tell her parents about the necklace. See what happens when you don't listen to your mother's advice. I'm sure I didn't lose my necklace. Lock them up. Who among you took Princess Beautiful Necklace? The animals captured by the king's soldiers were locked in a cage. Where is the princess's necklace? Who among you has it? Your Majesty, we know nothing about that necklace. The soldiers also captured the young shepherd and brought him before the king and princess. I'm sure he's the one who took my necklace. We talked for a long time, and his music enchanted me. Despite his claims of innocence, Jovan was imprisoned in the highest tower of the castle. You will stay there until you confess where you hid the necklace. Little birds, I'm not guilty. I don't know where the princess's necklace is. Branka, moved by the tears of the young shepherd and listening to the voice of her compassionate heart, pleaded with her father. Father, release him. He may not be guilty, but I am certainly at fault. I didn't listen to mother. Just as the princess uttered these words, a wolf approached her, holding the necklace in its hand. I heard your generous words, so I hurried to return this necklace to you which I found lost in the forest. No one stole it, 